Hey guys, today I got some more Black Ops 3 information. Today I'm going to be talking about a new pre-order bonus, some domination information, and why Activision decided to release Black Ops 3 on a Friday. So the pre-order bonus you can see on screen now is a double-sided poster that you can get at GameStop. GameStop have announced that anyone who pre-orders Black Ops 3 at GameStop will get this double-sided poster. One side has the key art for the game, the other side has the zombies poster, that was leaked earlier, which I also covered in a video. Now the domination information I have for you is that domination in Black Ops 3 will not have a time limit. The way this works is a bit like in older Call of Duties. I think it was like in Modern Warfare 2 but then maybe they updated it because I remember at one point it was where the match could go on forever pretty much until one of the teams reached their highest score. And this is exactly what it's going to be like in Black Ops 3. As you can see now, there's a tweet on screen. So as you can see, David Vonderhaar does confirm this. He also confirms in the next few tweets that he was testing it out in November 2014 and, uh, and teams will switch sides as soon as they reach the 100 point mark and the score limit is as always 200. David goes on to say that he didn't think he would like it, but it eliminates some of the strangeness with mathematical elimination and the game still goes fast. I actually prefer it if there wasn't a time limit because sometimes the match can be slow and people aren't really capturing flags or whatever so and then the match will end quickly because of the time limit so this is actually good. So for the first time ever Call of Duty, a Call of Duty title will be releasing worldwide on Friday, on our Friday. It will be released on no November 6th for Xbox One, PS4 and PC. The reason for the release on Friday is because Activision's Senior Vice President Rob Kostich was in an interview with Forbes stating that the decision was based around more players being able to get the game on Friday and play it through the weekend. Which makes more sense really because most people that play Call of Duty, well a lot of them, are teenage school kids. And, you know, they have school the next day, you know, so if they get it Friday, then they can play it for the whole weekend. Right, on screen now you can see, a uh, quote, Tuesday has always been the iconic release day for entertainment titles for years in the United States. It's the one day that works with all retail partners across the country. Activision wouldn't say with certainty whether a changing release to a Friday will continue into future Call of Duty titles. So this may just be a one-off thing, but... But I suppose we'll have to wait until next year and find out whether it will be a Friday from now on. I suppose they're probably just going to see what day works best. So if Friday works out better for everyone, then they'll probably do Friday in the future. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Black Ops 3 content. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.